Hi, this is Chuck from Nerd3D. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to make conforming clothing for La Femme work with the anime figure. To do this, we're going to start off with a piece of clothing that works for La Femme, but does not have the anime character morphs in it yet. Let's start with a new scene. I'm going to load the clothing item that comes with La Femme, the one-piece leotard, and we're going to use that as an example to make it work with the anime character. Now you may be tempted to copy the morphs directly from the La Femme figure. And while that will work in a crude sense, it won't give you the best possible results. The anime character comes with a developer's rig that will help you produce better quality morphs in the clothing. Let's load that into the scene. Once you have the developer's rig in the scene, make sure that your clothing item is selected and then go to figure copy morphs from, choose the developer's rig as the source of your morphs, and click OK. In most cases, you're just going to want to copy all of the morphs. Once you've created the morphs, it's a good idea to save your newly created clothing item. I'm going to save it into a temporary folder. Make sure your clothing item is selected and click the plus sign at the bottom of the library. Give your new item a name, in this case, it's OK to use the original geometry, so make sure that option is selected. Click OK to save your new clothing item to the library. Now, in a new scene, add La Femme and inject the anime character morphs, and now we can add the clothing item that we just created to the La Femme character. When using the high-res dev rig, most of the morphs are going to copy over satisfactorily, but there are always going to be a few morphs that need a little personal touch. I'm going to switch into the shaded line mode and pick out one of those morphs that I know happens to be a problem child in this character. There's a morph called Anime Breast Flat that doesn't copy as well as we would like. As you can see, it's kind of crunched in the center of the morph. We're going to use Poser's built-in morph brush to fix this. Now first, a couple of caveats. You've noticed that I've dialed the morph in on the character, not the clothing. That's because the clothing is conformed and the morphs on the conformed clothing will automatically be applied. The other thing we want to make sure of is that the clothing is not currently subdivided. If the clothing is subdivided when you're editing the morph, you will be creating high definition morphs, which in this case really isn't necessary. Let's find the morph that we want to edit and edit it with the morph tool. Scroll through your list until you find the morph that you dialed in on the parent figure, which in this case is the anime breast flat morph. I'm going to click the little context menu next to it and pick edit morph. If you see a question mark next to the parameter dial, it means you've selected the wrong morph. It means that you're editing a morph that is not dialed in on the parent figure. And let me show you what I mean. If I click edit on this, you'll notice there's a mark right here that shows you that this morph is not active and you'll be editing something that you can't see. You only want to work on morphs that are actually dialed in so you can see the results of what you're doing. Back to the anime breast morph. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to use a relaxed brush, which is the one that looks like an iron. And I'm going to relax this center line a little bit so that it's less mushed by the morph. And then I'm going to use the Titan Fit brush to correct this area of the morph. I need to select the target figure, which is La Femme, and I need to choose a poke through margin, which is basically how far the clothing item is going to lie above the skin of the figure. And just by using this in a broad area with broad strokes, I can smooth out the area that didn't copy as well as we would have liked. I'm going to go back and smooth this a little bit also. And then I'm going to use the built-in symmetry figure to symmetry the morph from the right to the left. Now we have a symmetrical morph that is the flat breast morph for the anime figure. And all we have to do is use Poser's built-in morphing tool. There will be other morphs that need personal attention, but this is the basic idea of fitting clothes for La Femme to work with the anime character. Once you've finished editing your morphs, you can save your clothing item back to the library, the same way we did earlier in this tutorial. Thanks for watching and have fun using Poser.